old folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again. Uh, it's a uh, Wednesday morning. I had to go to the dentist yesterday, so we didn't fish yesterday. Woke up this morning, it's in the 20s, and we back trying to fish again. A lot of times, when it drops cold like this, it'll push the fish back deep in my kind of fishing. We got a new moon today, and hopefully we can catch some. Let's drop it down and see what we can do today. On oh, Lake Monticello, that's a bite already. What? That's a bite already. See if we can get a nut to bite it. I see the sum down there already. A lot of times it's uh, colder weather and uh, and the water is dropping. It'll push them back out in deeper water where we want them to be. And uh, we got a new moon. They should bite today. Cold weather, new moon, sun shining, deep water should be the answer. And dropping water too. I come over here uh, Monday after the rain and it was so doggone muddy and just it's just a bad day. And then Tuesday I had to go to the dentist. So Wednesday, here it is Wednesday, and we back at it again. And I can tell you right now, they already bite. I don't know how many we'll catch, but they bite and they bumping it. And that's a good sign. When you don't get them bites, you know they ain't stirring. When they biting it, hey. When you first start, usually, uh-oh, I'm missing a lot of them, though. A lot of them little. But uh, I see fish down there. So there's some out here. We got Looney with us this morning. And it's cold, I'll tell you that. Windy, kind of windy. About a seven-mile-an-hour wind, and it's cold as the devil. Especially when it's already been warm. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it, but they there. So that's the big thing, get them there. We might can figure out what they want to bite. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh my, there he is. That's a good one too. That's a good one. Got him on a spoon. We're using uh Wayne Tollison's three-quarter ounce spoon. We got a, a gup shrimp white one, gup alive shrimp. Can't find the two-inch gup shrimp anymore. I don't know if they're not making them, nobody's carrying them, or what's going on. I bought the last gup alive they had uh, uh, on Amazon, and uh, I'm not re they're really tough, but they cook it. They they're not straight coming in that liquid. I don't like that, but they are tough. They'll last a long time. So, hey, maybe we'll catch something today. And I got a, a big daddy jig on. I ain't caught that one on the big daddy jig yet. We might have changed the big daddy jig to something else. I had to go to Gup Alive Metal. Still got some of them. I had. I ain't using them. Uh oh. Didn't get a bite that time. That ain't good. Hey, let's beat the boat. And see if we can stir something up. None of that. Wow. That might make them come today. I don't know. There he is. There he is. There he is. that big but there he is Looney's out there ready to eat him too old Looney the one of highest survives without the old fisherman Spot lock kind of trolling circle, see what happens. We know it's something down at this point. We get one to bite it, troll. Circle swing or something. They ain't eating it up, but they, there's a few there. Yeah, they quit biting. I threw that one back. They only got it made some noise, and they quit. Right there's fish. I'm seeing fish. They just ain't biting. They're bumping it right there. 
bumping it again. They don't want it. They ain't in a feed or they don't want what I got on. We got to change around and we find out what they bite. So they there. They there. They just ain't biting. The first couple bumped it that didn't really take it. Probably don't want that white gut shrimp. There, there was a bump there. They definitely don't want the big daddy. I ain't caught the first one on the big daddy. Blue and green. Most of the time they'll hit that. They ain't hitting it today. There's plenty of fish there too. 47 foot, plenty of fish there. They not want to bite there yet. Had to change direction to get him taken. Had to change direction to get him taken. Pretty nice one too. Ain't no whopper. Got him on the big daddy. First one I caught on the big daddy. That shrimp's kind of crooked. That ain't straight. I don't like them dope live shrimp. They come in, they all crooked up, crooked, U-shaped, and that ain't no good. That thing's just useless when they're like that. Hit them straight. I won't be buying no more gup alive. They're tough. I have to give them that, but they, they ain't really want that white gup alive. They, they, I'm catching a few on it. Hey, they might pick up, but... I'm not crazy about them. I like the toughness of them. That's all I like. They were about half of them crooked. I don't know if they'll straighten out or how to straighten them out. They bent. There was one. Nailed it right there. He got off, I think. Unless he's a little. I think he's just little. He ain't that little. He must be coming up. Now he hit the guff alive, shrimp. Oh, he might tore it up, too. He might tore it up. We're going to have to rehook it. Let's tore it up. Nice fish. That's where it is. There he is. There he is. There he is. They just ate the super dogs. They're medium dogs. Medium dogs. Got him on the white. Well, that's why they are medium dogs. I got four loons, five loons on top of me. Five loons. Or they thumping it. They thumping it. Do it now. There he is. Oh, he killed. He killed. He killed. I'm going to tell you, when it gets cold, this fish is a lot better in cold weather. It gets warm, they start scattering out and going on the banks. A shallower. When it gets cold, the sunshine it pushes them back to deep water. Out here where you can lay it to them. That's what it does. I bet they eat it up yesterday too. It's colder this morning than it was yesterday, only today it's good time. Yesterday was cloudy. It's snow flurries yesterday, early morning. They, boy, they bite. I tell you, they bite good. Just eat the big ones. They thumping it. Got to get it down though to get a bite. They don't want it up high. They hit. Oh. They bumping it. Oh yeah. Just not the super dog magnums I was catching last week. They uh, there's another size. Hey, those days over though, we might get on some of them super dogs. You never know. Go on, Looney. Looney trying to take my plug. 
But there's fish scattered all over the bottom today out here on this deep ridge. Today, no question. No question, they out there. They out there, they out there thick. They bite, too. They bite, I tell you that. They eating it up. Look at that. They eating it up. Some on the white, some on the new penny. Like tear this white one up. How many more I catch on this pull it down every time I pull it up? I can't tell you how cold it is. Good gosh. I'm getting too old for this. They used to be bottom, it's bottom me now. That wind blowing in, 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 the, low, in the high 20s, that's cold. That's just some bit sick. That's cold weather. But it's the kind of weather they bite in. They bumping it. They bump it. They fish all over the place. dragging it. I'll tell you that. I think they're going to pull my, my jig down. Feels like it. Maybe I'll get one on the other one before I pull it up. I don't want it fast. Get going too fast. You won't get a bite. There you go. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. Oh. Got my dog on new penny shrimp pulled down. Got my new penny shrimp pulled down. down with a big boy's lie, the old fisherman. Once again, loving life on a cold lake. Nobody out here but me, them's the kind of days I like. I hate a bunch of boats in the way. And that's what it's been here over the weekend. It's almost impossible to make a video. All these people fishing over here is cut my videos out. That's what's happening, so you don't get them up. I actually had a fella say that he, they see me fishing one of their holes when probably the whole time they was over here because of what I showed them. They had the gall to say they fishing, seen me fishing one of their holes. <laughs> uh, all I could do was shake my head. They bite me, but they slowed, they slowed up a little bit. But there's still plenty of them Make him hit him. Hey, uh, he thumped it hard. That's pretty good on that. That's pretty good on that. Oh, yeah. That's a jumbo. I love a jumbo. I sure wish I had some more of these new penny colored jigs. I know that. This ain't good to be out of them. I went yesterday all around Columbia. Could not find any. Could not find any kind of two inch gut shrimp whatsoever. I do not understand Berkeley Bait. Why they want to send three inch gut shrimp to the Columbia area when nothing bites a three inch gut shrimp in this area. Uh oh. We have not in our lives. That ain't good. That ain't come out. That ain't come out. Woo! Is it cold, people? My 
goodness. I'm about to freeze. Hey, stay that wind's cut the book. That wind's getting you. Fish are biting. Boy, is it cold. Hey, day is cold. We can calm down for a little bit and have to get back up again. Oh, don't time. Killing me. My hands are frozen. Probably not pulled my gigs down. What's wrong? Probably what's wrong. I guarantee you that's what's wrong. We ain't down far enough, one or two. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Yeah. Y'all gonna let me diving down and try to intercept me. Uh, he got him a jumbo magnet. Look at that on a white gut shrimp. The new penny shrimp was messed up. That's why he hit the white. Put it on spotlight. We gotta do some work on these shrimp. Shrimp ain't looking. Hey, oh lordy. He's bumping it. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a jumbo, I hope. Swimming out like a jumbo. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. New penny gump shrimp. Jumbo magnum. Drop back down and see if we can get another jumbo. Keep them going. This doggone new this, uh, shrimp here is all twisted up. Which ain't good. Got a knot in it. Hey, we got to get it back out, get them going. Water's a little stained up here, and uh, so we're in about 37 foot. We went a little shallow where they are normally fish, trying to find the jumbos. Caught some smaller ones this morning, but not the size we're looking for. They were okay, about like Lake Murray perch, but they weren't the big ones. We got a few down here. I see them following that thing up. I see them following it up. We probably going to have to do circle swing to get them. They bumping it a little bit. Let's do circle swing. Make this thing cir circle swing and might catch them. They bumping at it, but they ain't taking it. They die. They bumping it. See if they'll take it swinging. Might be to knock my jigs up or down. Oh, there's one. He got off. Doggone, I tell you what. There's some nice ones out there, but they ain't wanting to bite. They just don't want to bite. Boy, the mouse do. There you go. Got him that time. We got him that time. That's a big one. That's a good one right there. I don't know if that's a perch or not. I don't know what that is. A nice one, whatever it is. It's a good one. Might be a bass. Who knows? Could be a bass. Oh, it's a huge perch in the bottom of the lip. Look at that. Look at that what a size perch. My goodness, what a perch. That's a big one right there, people. Look at the size of this perch. Look at here. Look at the size of that perch. That's a big one, ain't it? Eggs coming out of him. Laying. They up here laying. What are they doing? They up here laying. They knocked the doggone shrimp down. They up here laying. Exactly what they doing. Laying eggs. Knocked both my shrimp down.
All right, let's put it back out, see if we get a nut. That's what they're doing. They're up here in the shallow water laying eggs. Exactly what they're doing. I don't see them right now, but let's drop it to the bottom, see if we can stir something up. It's still in the 30s. It's still cold out here. Sun's shining, though. Wind's calmed down a little bit. See if we can get back on them. It's one good little school of them down there. They look, they're nice perch. They're bumping my dog on jigs and pulling them down is what they're doing. They're pulling my jigs down. I bet they haven't pulled both of them down already. Them jigs are not staying up that good. We might have to put something else on. They wore out is what it is. I don't have any gup shrimp left. Might have put a uh, big daddy jig on. They're bumping at it, but I think they're gonna pull them down. What I think is happening. They're bumping. They ain't taking. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. Nice one, fairly nice. Not huge, but you see, I got him on the, I got him on the doggone spoon because they done pulled the doggone gut clamp down. You got to put another on here. It ain't holding up. There he is. That's a pretty nice one. Pretty nice one. The doggone loons don't get him. Got him on the doggone uh, .06 bare spoon. We got him on. All right, we in a 42 foot right now. Let's fish all down there. Let's fish all over this little ridge. I think it's some good ones down there just getting them bites thing. You don't have one to take it. They're bumping at it and they ain't taking it. I think they're just getting ready to spawn. They're not hitting like they ought to. You'll catch one ever so often, but they're bumping it. Just ain't taking it. There you go. Once in a while, one of them run up and grab it. That's what's happening. And he's getting off. Oh, God, them hooks on that berry spoon ain't very good. I need to change them hooks. The ones that come on them berries ain't very good. They ought to do better than that with the hooks on them berry spoon. They're not wanting it. I can tell you that. There's plenty of fish there. They're all over this bottom. It's not taking it. There he is. He'll thump it. Every so often, want to thump it. And I believe there's some big ones down there. And that's a good one. Fairly good one. Look at the white gut shrimp. Some are going to aggravate me to death if I see that. That's for sure. But there's plenty of fish down there. get out there what they want, we can catch them. Whole bottom's covered. 45 to it. Fish everywhere. No question. Fish everywhere. Hey, uh, hey down there. Missing them, though. Missing them. Hey, hey, doggone, missed him. Every time you go to move it, one grabs it. You miss them. Didn't take it that time. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is a good one. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, old fisherman. Look at that. 
kind we're looking for right there. Nice perk. That's for sure. Turn out to be a nice day, huh? Too. Look at them loons. You got one male and two females. Look at that male, how pretty he is. That joker got a black head. A beautiful loon right there. That is a beauty. You don't see many like that. Just one that once in a while. Drop it to the bottom and do a little trolling. What we gonna do? Do a little trolling. Low trolling. They want it trolling, I'll tell you that. That ain't a big one, that ain't. That's a small one. That's a small one. That's a loony fish show sure enough. Loony's gonna enjoy that one. Loony fish. It done dropped off here 50 foot. That's how quick it drops off on the edge of this ridge. You need to get back up on the hump. Let's see if we can get one bite. There's, there's a bite. Hey, there's a bite. They hit. Definitely out there. Troll back up this ridge. Boy, he counts it. Hey, dang. Why you miss a bite like that? Going off the other side, this thing. I should have threw out the buoy on this on this spot. I'm not as familiar with this spot as I am some of the other ones. He got off of them. Look at that loon. Pretty, ain't it? That joker's beautiful. That joker is beautiful. I'm thinking that's a male. If that's the case, then there ain't many females. It ain't nothing but females over here. There ain't many of them. Unless that's a different, different balloon. Probably just a different balloon. That right there is, is, is got a white neck, but he's got the makings. And that is brown. Looks different. Them two look totally different. They bumping it, but they ain't taking it. They don't want what I'm fishing with. There you go. Got him back there. Hey, that's a catfish, huh? That's a catfish, huh? That's either a catfish or a big perch. One of the two. I don't think it's a bass. It's a nice one, whatever it is. I think it's a catfish. Oh, it's a bass. He's a bass. He's a bass. Look at that. Huh? He's a bass. Look at that. Good eating size bass, too. Yes, sir. Look at that, doggone bass. He barely took that spoon. Barely took it, look at that. Huh? Look at him, about two pounds. Look at that, it's nice in there. What I think's happening, we're getting plenty of little ones, I'll tell you that. Plenty of little ones. All we're doing is feeding loaded. We ain't feeding us. Oh, 
doggone bird had my fish again. He ain't getting him. Throw him in a box. Catch no big ones a while ago. I caught some big ones in here. The camera all, now they little. I'm catching them. They just little. That might be a little bit bigger. And that's bigger. No doubt about that. That's a lot bigger. Oh, Lord. That's pulling like crazy. Two of them. Three of them. What? <laughs> Three of them. I go from catching one one at a time to three at a time. Can't do that. Three at a time. You must have pulled through the mother load. They're not big, but they're medium size. They're medium. They're medium size, about like Lake Murray. All right, let's drop back out. See if we can get three more. Gotta love that. There's a bite. There's another pulling. What happened? There's a bite. There ain't no whopper. Might be a keeper. There ain't no whopper. Definitely a keeper. Got him on a gup. Miller. Gup Miller. Gup alive, Miller. Drop back down. Ah, right, Loney. Loney, boy, I tell you, Loney's aggravating me today. Loney is aggravating the old fisherman today. I want it pulling, though. You got a little slack out and it's troll. Or you can get a bite. Start trolling, want to bump it. Most of the time, there he is. Oh, I missed him. He hit it. You got to keep it close to the bottom, too, or they won't bite it. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, no, nah, he ain't either. He ain't that big one. Small one. Getting that dog on a spoon. Looney fish. I'll back out. All right. We drop right off 42 foot that quick. All right, let's pull in here. Let me get another one. Tell you, hey, that's what he wanted. In the 30s and pulling. In the 30s and pulling is what they want. That's a nice one right there. That's a good one right there. That's the kind of we're looking for right there. Jumbo, two of them. Two of them. Two jumbos. That's a good one right there. Back down. Hey, we got it going now. They're hitting that spoon, that brown looking spoon, and a, a .06 uh, berry spoon that I doctored up and made it kind of gold looking. And uh, and they're hitting the dog on the gup alive miller. They ain't hitting the gup alive shrimp, they're hitting the miller. We're just going to troll with it. They is. They hit. they down there. We done figured out where they at. They shallow. In the 30, the 30 to 40 range, 35 to 40. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, oh 
he crushed it, and I missed it. He crushed it. There he is again. A little one now. Do we get a nut in the bite? Get a nut in the bite. That's a little one now. A lot of times you get that baby on there, he don't pull it around enough. Well, I believe he got off. No, he didn't. He's still on it. A little, a little, a little baby. That joker ain't gonna make it because Looney's gonna get him. He ain't got a chance. I don't think he can swim fast enough to get away from Looney. To the bottom and troll back across there. It's, they scattered out and they, they some big ones and they some little ones. They mixed up. And they scattered all over the top of this ridge out here. There he is. Want to tell you? Hey, we own them. Get the right size ones. I ain't that big. That's a small one. And they hitting. They hitting. Don't even get his bait of fish today. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. That ain't that big, but he's better than the little bitty ones. Looney ain't getting it. For sure, Looney ain't getting it. Bumping it again. There you go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's the kind we're looking for right there. That's a Jumbo Super Dog Supreme right there, buddy. Look at the size of that perch. I mean, bigger. Look at that. Crazy. Dang. I mean, whoppers. I'm gonna take that white shrimp off. They ain't, they ain't biting that. I ain't touching that white shrimp. Sometimes you catch big ones on white shrimp, but I ain't catching nothing on it now. About everything's coming off of the spoon or either the uh, gulp alive metal. Now, there he is. There he is. That ain't no bad one. Looney's after him. On the gulp alive metal. Black one. All right, drop it back down. <clears throat> we got 43 foot somehow, though. It must be right on the side of the drop. I see fish down there, too. Bite it. I see plenty of fish right off that drop. Pull it back up that hill and see if you want to take it. Slowly. There's a bump. One bumped at it. Didn't take it though. Bumped at it. Plenty of fish down there, we ought to be killing them. On what they ain't taking it. Ever so often, want to bite it. They down there. Look like it might be some bass down there. There you go. There you go. That's a little one. That's a little one there. That is a little one there. That is a baby. Looney's gonna go crazy over that one. Boy, you better swim fast. No All 
right. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. There he is. Stay down there. They just ain't all big ones. A little bit better. The last one might be a keeper. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper there. That's a keeper there. I can get him out. Took it. He took it. Swallowed that miller. I'm back down. Better bite. That felt like a little bit better bite. Oh yeah. Jumbo Magnum on the big daddy J. <coughs> Jumbo Magnum. Up to the bottom where the big boys lie. The old fisherman. Wild old fisherman. I haven't been feeling good uh, lately, so that's why we hadn't been having any videos. I really ain't been feeling like doing a video. I don't know what's wrong. Old age, I reckon. But uh, hey, who knows? It is what it is. Try to keep going, try to keep fishing. But it's getting tougher and tougher. We're getting bites. There you there he is. There he is. They biting out here today. We got a lot of fish. I, I had a lot of trouble with line breaking today. My drag ain't working properly on this on this reel. And uh, I done set the hook and broke the line four or five times today with this braid line. And what it is, this braid don't give. And uh, of course, I got the monofilament uh, eight pound test down here at the bottom wrapping up. <laughs> And, uh, oh, Lord, we got all kind of knots in. But uh, it's been popping when I'm setting the hook. I've had four or five times that happen today. It's just taking all my time up tying. Just one of them bad days, I guess. I don't know what's going on. But uh, this old rod's pretty stiff that I'm using, and it don't have much give in it. And I'm thinking that's probably a bad thing. Uh, I love it because it's really sensitive, but when you set the hook, with this rod on eight pound test underneath braid line, you got a problem. Uh, I'm having a problem today, anyhow. If it's really deep, I, ain't, I don't normally have that problem, but I've been fishing in the 30 foot range today, 35 foot, and it's caused me more anguish today than normal. And uh, that's why we've been having trouble. I said, look, it ain't no give on that braid line, and this drag ain't slipping like it ought to. It's like it wanting to grab. I don't know. I'm, and this is a relatively a new reel, but uh, it sure has caused me anguish today. And I keep messing with it, but this braid line kind of sticks on itself. It's super slick, and if you get it where it's real soft coming off, then then it wants to give real easy after a little bit. So I don't know what the deal is. I know it's messed me up today, though. I know that it's caused me a lot of anguish that I shouldn't have. Almost tempted to start using my ultralight again. But there was a pile of fish down there for a little bit, and then I got to messing with that untying that knot, and you see what happened. That's what happened, buddy. You got to keep these fish rolling. You can't let them relax. You got to stir them up and keep them stirred. Catch them. And that's the ticket. There you go. There you go. Pretty nice one. That's a pretty nice one. I stopped out here on the way home. It's late, I ought to be done gone, but a lot of times you catch them bigger fish out here like this, late in the evening, well, mid after, after lunch. I don't never fish late in the evening. But uh, hey, we catching a couple now. We caught a, a bunch, I got that barrel half full, just not on video. I've got a bunch of little clips and that's probably what I'm gonna put up, little clips. But, uh, hey, we've done good today. Just had bad luck with line breakage. And you got a three rig, you got to retire, and you got a problem. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Hey, hey. Big old one. Big daddy. Got him on the big daddy G. Go to, um... Easy Mark, Lake Monticello, uh, in two 
and 99, 215 and 99 up here. And uh, he's got the big daddy jigs up there. Preston Brown, go check him out. He got live bait too. My old shoulder's been giving me a fit. Uh, Ron, uh, out in California, sent me some liniment for my shoulder. It helped some, but uh, I, I really got bad shoulder problems. It's getting worse and worse, so I don't know how much longer I can do this. That left shoulder needs some work done on it. That's one reason I ain't using my spinning rod. Uh, thank you. See if we can get something going here. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. See if we can catch one of them. The loon's all down in here. The only problem about fish getting shallower is the loon's gonna scare them all. Cause they down there. I think the fish is shallower. I think I've been fishing too deep all day. That's what I think. All day I've been fishing too deep. Oh Lord, look at that water bass. Huh, look at that water bass. I got shallow and oh Lord. Looney's after the perch on the top. Looney's after him. And the bass is missed. Looney, look at that. Huh, that's what I'm talking about. What? He had a perch underneath and a bass that hit spun. Oh, go, how about that? What? How about that? And what in the world I had? I thought I had uh, a fish hooked in the belly. The whole time, the old bass hooked in the bottom of the lip. What it was, hey, good eating time, bass. Look at that. That's number two of the day. Look at that. Got love that. Look, 